Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. And like I do every video, I am going to show y'all what we're going to be using for this video, but I just want to let y'all know, I do still have throat strep. I am over COVID, so if my voice sounds weird, that is why, but I did want to try to get this video out. So let's go ahead and I will show you everything needed for this video. So the first thing you're going to need is some fab, two different types of fabric, two different design. It could be red and blue, white, and, you know, just two different colors, two different designs. I picked these three. I'm going to go between them. And this is for 4th of July, so that's why I'm doing the red, white, and blue theme. All right. And then you're going to need some little mini pebbles. I got these from Dollar Tree. And you can find fabric at Dollar Tree, too. Uh, excuse me but I got this at Dollar Tree so you can get that you're gonna need some cardboard I'm just showing you there's the cardboard I'm gonna be using I will figure it out as I go you're gonna need you can use needle and thread I'm gonna use hot glue to show you how to what I'm doing you're gonna need a cutter and I believe that's it all right let's get to it I forgot you're gonna need scissors too all right so I'm not gonna show you how to make the whole thing we're gonna make a cornhole game beanbag toss whatever you want to call it but I'm not making the whole thing because it's the same thing both sides so I'm just gonna do one and you're gonna to want to make like three per side of the beanbag or cornhole you know the toss so <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on a second, y'all. I don't know how big you want to make it. I don't want to make it huge. So, but you're going to have to do a rectangle because you're going to fold it over. So, let me get this where you can see. Now, I think... Yes. This is folded a certain way, and I think I'm just going to go with it. It's about a little more than five and a half inches. So if you want to do about five and a half inches, that's fine. And like I said, it's got to be a rectangle, like uh, an even number so you can fold it. It would be easiest. So I'm probably going to do six inches. So... And we will go from there and see how it comes out looking. Alright. So let me find where I marked it. Because I can't never seem to find anything when I do this. So what I'm just doing is I'm just trying to cut it and make a, this is almost a square, I'm not even going to lie, but as long as you get it the right way, it's fine. I don't think we need it any bigger than three inches by the five and a half. So I'm just going to show you, and if it doesn't work, I will reconfigure it this is my first time doing it I was gonna practice but I got sick as y'all know I posted so I did not get to practice this to see my measurements so I'm winging it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue or sew whichever way you do it three of the four sides so that it'll create a pocket then we could put the beans in it all right let's get to it and do this and like I said hopefully I don't make a fool of myself <laughs> Give 
Give me a second. It's, it's gonna work. I just gotta get it right, y'all. So that's one side sealed. Now I'm gonna do the other, and then the middle will be for the filling. Actually, I think I'll do the long side. Seal it too. You wanna completely seal it or sew it. Like I said, it, it depends with y'all. I suck at sewing, so you will never see me sew. It's just not one of my Abilities. So, I even suck using a um, sewing machine. I'm just not good at it. It will never be one of my talents. But if this is something you're going to keep, I would suggest sewing it, even if it is with a sewing machine, like I said, because it's going to last longer and better. And if you're in the South, hot glue is not the way to go. You, if you're not going to sew, you're going to need a different glue because it is too hot here for hot glue. All right, so it's not perfect, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. It's just a little bit more. So then the next step is literally to fill it with beans or pebbles, whichever one you use. You want it to have some weight. So I'm gonna fill it like that. Doesn't need any more than that. And you don't have to make it this size. You can make it bigger or smaller. I just think this is a good size for it. You can turn it into a square if you want it to be a square. Sorry, I got it stuck on my finger. I'm trying to keep it in there. So, there is my bean bag. It's got a little bit of a weight to it, which is good. And it's not so full that you're going to bust it open. It's got some movement because I didn't fill it to the top. As you can see, this is where I filled it. So, that means it'll move around in there so it won't break. So, that is that. And you're like I said, you're going to need three. I would do three of each. You don't really need more than that. I think that's about what they use, maybe four. But you're going to need three of one color or design and three of another to do this. And like I said, I'm just going to show you that one because I'm just showing y'all how to make it. So this is the next step. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it because I know it's got to be at an angle. So I'm going to be working on that. So I need to measure out... Um, how I want to do that so there is I know there's not a lot of room in this with this but this is the only place I have it is about a little more than eight and a half inches let me do it this way it is about eight and three fourth inches okay so I'm going to want it to come down to here, I think. 
Yeah, so that it's on the ground. So I think I just want to do a half. We're going to try it that way and see how it works. Hopefully I don't mess up. I'm going to try cutting it and we'll see how it works. Next, you're going to want to draw a circle, a sake circle, but you want to make it I don't know if I want it that big. Sorry. Let me flip it over so I can see what I'm doing. You want to make it where it's going to be big enough for the thing to get in, but you don't want it too big because then they can easily get in there. I think that's going to be big enough. You just, I, I suck at circles, but you're just going to have to go for it your own. And then you're just going to cut the hole for the circle. Now, I messed up when I did this. Um, I should have had a flat back here to help hold it together, but I'm going to make it. So make sure y'all keep that flap on there so that it'll, so that you can, um, hold it together. I'm sorry. circles that you can see. Alright, so, and if you don't want this part to show, you can easily flip it over where you just see the brown, and which is what I'm going to do. So, I am going to just glue it all together to hold it. Just so it stays together, I'm going to glue a piece to the back to show y'all hold on and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and I am going to glue it like this so it has something to hold it I like I told y'all I would recommend something besides hot glue if you live in the south but I'm just doing this to show y'all again So, I'm sorry, I really don't have room for this. You can also tape it, which, if this glue doesn't want to work, is what I'm going to do. There's always ways to get something to work if it doesn't want to work. Yeah, it's not working. I'm going to tape it, okay, y'all? Give me a second. So I'm just going to take some duct tape and I'm going to attach it on the inside and the outside because you want it to be nice and stable. And it's not a big deal with this, how this looks, because this is throwawayable. You can remake it every year or you can take it apart and just 
um, store it. So it's not a huge deal. It doesn't have to look gorgeous. You're just using this for the base, like I said. So. And when all else fails, duct tape works wonders. Not even lying. I use duct tape a lot. And there you go, there's your little cornhole base. That's just bugging me on, I'm sorry. Let me cut this off real quick. All right, that doesn't bug me as much. And like I said, there's your base. As you can see, it works. And there's your little, and that is all you have to do for this project. And I enjoyed making and showing you how to do it. You can even paint the base if you want. I did a horrible job of getting this in the middle, but it's not a big deal. Um, I had fun making it and showing y'all how to do it. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. And if y'all did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. I will see y'all next time. Bye.